The Rowett Institute is just over 100 years old and has been at the centre of nutrition science from the early days of the subject, where scientists were understanding the role of vitamins to keep us alive, to today where we study in addition food sustainability, the gut microbiome and the molecular basis of appetite to name but three subject areas. The Rowett Institute has the biggest concentration of nutrition researchers in the UK and when combined with the world-class facilities, particularly in analytical science, human intervention studies and microbiology, this makes for an excellent environment for studying and researching nutrition science across the whole range of subjects that make up this interdisciplinary field. Our first director, John Boyd Ord, was a champion of food security, having witnessed the effects of poor nutrition and poverty in Glasgow at the turn of the 20th century, and worked on rationing during the Second World War helping to ensure that the health of the UK was better at the end of the conflict compared with the start. He also came up with a plan to feed the world in the face of possible famine resulting from that conflict. He received a Nobel Peace Prize for the latter work and set the bar exceptionally high for all future directors. We have um, a dedicated team here in the HNU. So as I said, we've got nutritionists, dietitians, technicians and medical staff. Um, and they're all part of running these studies in the HNU as well. It's great that we do have our own facilities, so we can have very high quality randomised control studies run here at the Rowett Institute. We're in total control of designing the meals and preparing the meals. And because we're seeing the volunteers and having that interaction with them, I think that helps with compliance for them eating the diet we can attract a lot of high calibre collaborations from other researchers, other universities in Europe, internationally and getting commercial work. The Rowan is an outstanding research facility that brings together scientists working on nutrition and health from molecules to man to society. And working side by side with these world leading researchers provides an outstanding environment for discovery. Our core research is how we improve the health of the nation through sustainable nutrition. We do this by undertaking research across the field of nutrition, ranging from the molecular processes that determine appetite, uh, to how fat, or more strictly speaking adipose tissue, actually protects us from ill health, and also how the timings of our meals affects our weight to understanding food supply chains and the consequences of food insecurity. This includes world-class expertise in the human microbiome, understanding how the bacteria and fungi that naturally live inside our gut influences health and disease. And the ways that we can improve human health, it's not, there's not gonna be one answer. And when we look at this from a variety of different perspectives, then we're gonna find different solutions that are going to improve health for different people. The reason why it's important to have an institute like the Rowett is because we have world-leading scientists that are looking at nutrition and health from a variety of different perspectives. As a brand, we emphasize the quality of the research that we do, and when we go out and give talks externally, then people recognize, oh, you're from the Rowett, you do really good research. So I'm very proud of the work that I do, and it's important to me that um, I make an impact on people's lives. You know, I've had some amazing experiences in working with the food industry and that has enabled me to have my research to go from the science space straight onto the supermarket shelf, which is quite exciting um, to be able to influence the, the type of foods that we eat. The Rowett Institute is also hugely translational. We work with local food and drink companies, multinationals, farmers and the aquaculture industry to produce more nutritious food. This has included work with startup biotech companies researching how the gut microbiome can improve health. To large supermarket chains where our scientists have worked on making us fuller for longer and providing cheaper, more nutritious alternatives to commonly eaten foods. Central to this work is a close relationship with the Scottish Government and related organisations so we can influence the food policy to contribute to being a good food nation. <laughs>